Mobile Community Radio. Community Radio. Good evening, good evening. I don't like to turn down the volume of that wonderful song because it uh, was specifically made by Casper uh, for this Obite community radio show that you're currently listening to. And it's fantastic. So uh, if you see me bobbing my head like this, uh, that means I'm just <laughs> listening to that tune. Um, and uh, the bad thing is I have some colleagues of mine and they cannot hear it. That's a bad thing. So Casper in the middle... And the Canadian Bucky Doodle to the right, uh, they are both Hello. here, but they cannot hear the songs. Is because of uh, we having technical uh, issues with it. Uh, so I would, I could explain it, but it wouldn't lead us far. So they cannot hear it, so they are not bobbing their head. But if I'm turning it up again, I am for sure because it has a very, uh, um, yeah, it, it takes me with me. It takes it, no, it takes myself with it. This is the correct way of putting it. It takes me away. Oh, yeah. We, we, but I wanted to say, you know, along the road of the beat, you know. Uh, so I'm okay. putting it down now. Um, thanks a lot, Casper, for that wonderful song. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's great. Uh, it, it really has some uh, catchy, catchy beat. And um, I'd like to play it. Um, but thanks. we don't want to only hear... Uh, the great song that you did. We wanted to talk about Obite again. This is Obite Community Radio on the 26th of September. So mm. this is coming live to you and yours at home. If you want to see us even, you can see us on YouTube. We are broadcasting this on the YouTube channel of Obite. Or you can uh, interact with us as well if you're coming to Discord, to the Discord channel of the Obite team. Um, and then you can also talk with us which is also possible via YouTube. So Bucky Doodle, the Canadian to the right, the one in the green room, he Hello. will somehow more or less uh, have a close eye to uh, YouTube and all the things that might be going on there. Yeah, and, um, and I, I just posted, I just posted the uh, a link to the YouTube uh, feed. That's perfect. Uh, and if I was over listening to it, see, I couldn't hear the song when it was being played for the show, so. Uh, I went over and listened to the feed coming back so that I could listen to the song and I was just listening to it. Great song. I Great love song. it. Uh, Thanks. But talking about, talk about going there, listening to the thing that you just have done two seconds ago, isn't that a bit strange? Because you see yourself like what you did two seconds yes. ago, don't you? It, it's time travel. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's time travel. Uh, I, ma I, I make music with a, with a lot of people online and and uh, young people, you know, so students. And, and when we play together online, you mean there's people always people like Casper and me. Well, yeah, young people. That's exactly right. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so, so there's always a delay. So I try to figure what the delay is so that I can be playing behind or in front of the beat enough that it will catch the delay and it will sound fine to the students. And so I'm used to doing time travel. Oh, constantly. that's very good. Um, but we, we didn't want to talk about too much about time traveling because, oh, well, it would be quite an interesting topic, to be honest. But we are not the time traveling show. We are the Obite Community Radio Show. And we're yeah. supposed to talk about um, our most beloved hobby work. I don't know. It, it's, it's a lot of things to, to each and every one. Um, and we should be talking more about uh, the cryptocurrency, uh, yes, let's say universe. Um, as you might all know, we somehow came back from crypto winter um it was a, a small comeback at least and uh, as you might have also seen if you're around the crypto universe uh there was a plunge yesterday some kind <laughs> of a dip a small yeah dip. i don't you know what i don't think we're back i don't think we're back from our crypto winter travels i, I think that we are held over in an airport oh ah, okay uh, yeah that's we possible. just found out that our flight was delayed <laughs> yeah, that's possible. Maybe we booked with Thomas Cook. Oh, we are using a lot of politics. Oh, yeah. We are using a lot of politics. Uh, it's it's a very um, yeah, it's a very educated show that we are doing tonight. Mm -hmm. So you might know or you might not know. Thomas Cook just went insolvent, uh, which is a problem for a lot of people flying around. 
Oh. And, and that's a banker's worst word for bankrupt. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> well, but we don't we don't want to talk about real world problems. We want to talk about mm -hmm. cryptocurrency problems. So, uh, where did where did we go to? We were at ten thousand dollars a Bitcoin, I think. And yeah, I even a, how, a little yeah, bit above. We were, yeah, a little bit above. Yeah. And then we plunged uh, back below eight thousand for Bitcoin, at least, and then uh, corrected just a little bit. Uh, but uh, it, it's really a a major problem to cryptocurrencies these huge uh, volatilities um, and and particularly in such short time um, it, it really poses big problems to a lot of real world use cases where you you mm -hmm. definitely wouldn't want this kind of volatility um, no that's true and therefore some people came up quite a while ago already um, with this uh, stable coin idea but mm -hmm. this is not well, it's it's a part of a solution, but it's not a perfect solution because I no. think there is none up to now. Yeah, mm -hmm. the problem basically always turns out to be uh, the collateral. Uh, people having yeah. to have a lot of money in some bank, um, and it's it's problematic to say the least. Oh, ah, by the way, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, I'm totally in. Um, <laughs> we need to do disclaimer. I'm always doing a disclaimer because you know yeah. we are showing our faces more or less, ah. and um, mm -hmm. at least parts of our name or parts of uh, what country we are born in, with the Canadian. Um, so uh, let's make it a short one. Um, we are not financial pros. Well, we are sort of, but we're not entitled. We're not doing this show uh, to give you uh, financial advice. That's not what this show is about. So if you're hearing us talk about Bitcoin, uh, other cryptocurrencies like Obyte, because this is the Obyte community radio show. So we should be talking about Obyte a lot um, because we love it. Um, then this doesn't mean exactly that you should buy whatever we tell you or whatever we talk about. That's not a good idea. You should always make up your mind for yourself get um, informed by yourself and uh, do a decision but this is not something you should do because some weirdos on uh, air and on video told you to do so uh, and not just yeah. us by the way if there is somewhere someone telling you hey come into my group you will make thirty thousand euros a day without working at all then you should alarm bells should ring yeah <laughs> There's a good too old good. saying going, uh, if something sounds too good to be true, it usually is it too is good to be true. true. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Very good saying. And we remember yeah. that. So Yeah, whether, whether you're buying a car or, <laughs> yeah. or cryptocurrency. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, please don't take this as a financial advice. If we're talking about cryptocurrencies, we talk about them because we love them. And we think they will change the world, all of us. But we are not making any financial advice. So please don't yeah. hold us legally uh, responsible for you buying cryptocurrency and losing money maybe mm -hmm. and yeah, actually I, I think uh, the the thing that's going to change the world it isn't necessarily the cryptocurrencies it's uh, the, the, the platforms the technology mm -hmm. in itself distributed ledgers uh, autonomous decentralized autonomous or organizations and stuff yes. like that um, that's what is really being uh, disrupted these these years yeah, I totally agree. This is leading us perfectly into the first topic that we wanted to talk about because mm -hmm. um, we came a bit about the, the well, everything's connected to Bitcoin in the end. So most of the cryptocurrency or all of the cryptocurrencies are taking a dip if Bitcoin yep. is taking a dip. That's basically a fact, more or less. But nevertheless, um, you can also try to escape the Bitcoin movement by doing something that's giving worth to a cryptocurrency by itself, like Obyte has recently done. Um, there is the LivePay um, initiative or a payment gateway uh, in, in China. Um, and maybe you can talk a bit about it, Casper. Uh, yeah, uh, we just recently uh, launched or basically... Uh, uh, Chinese community member launched uh, a, a gateway, so to speak, uh, allowing people to, to use Obytes, uh, native currency bytes, to pay for various um, commodities uh, and utilities. 
uh, like mobile airtime and data, uh, gas for the cars, train tickets, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I think it's important to note that it it's it's not these companies suddenly going out saying, "Hey, let's accept uh, bytes as a means of payment." <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's basically a gateway that converts bytes into the the Chinese currency yuan again. I guess it's called. Uh, You'll have to correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and um, by doing this conversion, of course, you are still somewhat exposed to uh, to volatility. And as far as uh, I've learned, I'm, my Chinese isn't all too well. <laughs> and and uh, this, uh, most of these sites are in Chinese. Uh, but as far as I've been able to, to figure out, there's a small fee uh, to to actually use Bytes to pay. Um, so so the, the one providing the, the actual gateway of converting from bytes to the uh, native currency, fiat currency, is uh, taking a small fee. Um, I haven't looked into it exactly uh, on that detail quite yet. It's it's a bit difficult, but uh, we're posting some links uh, in the radio uh, radio audience channel on on Discord, uh, and people will be able to uh, to go check it out themselves. Um, there's also uh, a guide on how to use it. I'll be posting that as well. Um, and of course, uh, most of these uh, companies or all of these companies are based in China. Uh, and it wouldn't make a lot of sense for me being Danish going out buying a, a train ticket <laughs> for a, ch for a tri Chinese uh, uh, super train. So, so I think it's uh, mainly... Um, to, uh, to to make life easier for the Chinese community members, and we do actually have quite a, quite a, an interesting community, uh, an active community in in China. Um, That's very good have, to uh, hear because this is um, at least from a population point of view one of the biggest markets you can oh, be yeah. onto. You know, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> there's all there's there's uh, the importance of having different cultures involved uh, in this project. I find quite important as well uh, because a lot of cryptocurrencies are mainly focusing on uh, US or Europe. Um, yeah, that's true. And and that's uh, sometimes a bit um, it, it it doesn't translate all that well uh, if you know what I mean. Not not uh, literally, but uh, Chinese crypto projects. Uh, doesn't go all too well uh, in the US and uh, US projects doesn't go all too well in China. Mm -hmm. uh, and for obvious re reasons, there's a huge culture gap, so to speak. Uh, but I think having a Chinese community uh, really adds to the Obite no, uh, ecosystem. That's definitely. totally valuable. So uh, because the the cryptocurrency, one of the, the, the out of my point of view, one of the big strengths of a cryptocurrency is that it's not limited to a, a nation or to whatever you know what i mean it's exactly. it's a worldwide thing per per default so exactly yeah you're not limiting access you're not limiting worth you can create value across borders totally easily definitely so uh that's that's one of the big strengths and uh, to have so to have a strong community also <coughs> in, in the asia uh, um that corner of the world uh it's yeah it's it's totally adding value to to every uh, uh, journey that Obite might do in the future. Absolutely. So, um, that's totally totally cool to read. I I didn't know that we you, Obite was starting something like this. Uh, so uh, even better. So uh, I, I like the 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 pace that this whole market has. Uh, mm -hmm. The pace how things uh, get created. Well some might say now that there is also the pace of things getting shut down. Okay, agreed. <laughs> yeah. um, this is a fair comment. But, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, if you've got 10 ideas and you throw them all in the air, you try to do them all, then eight of them might be rubbish. But two of them could change the world. Exactly. Uh, the, you know, in the, uh, in the US, in the early part of the century, there were like 40 automotive companies making yeah. cars. 40 because it was a new industry and well they didn't all survive but some did yeah mm. and now you're buying a german car bucky <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Sorry. Was in uh, Bucky's right I, now looking for a new car, and he talked about dare, U.S. Yeah. motor companies. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't dare buy a car made in Newfoundland. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be made of wood or something. Yeah, most likely with beavers, you know, running. Yeah, with beavers, right? made, made by made by beavers, yeah. by beavers. Yeah. Uh, most Sorry for all, the our, giggling part. Yeah, our good friend uh, Termo just said that uh, uh, the the um, life pay is using Obite for merchants. So oh, uh, I, yeah. uh, for those people, we got quite a few people watching on YouTube. I posted the link to that in um, in our chat. So you can check it out on the YouTube chat. And of course, Tarmo put it into the, uh, the Discord chat. Yeah, you know? we, we do have a, a, a very easy plugin. Uh, it's called WooCommerce. Uh, it's, uh, as far as I recall, uh, a WordPress plugin uh, that you basically just enable and then you're able to uh, accept uh, different cryptocurrencies wow. as payments uh, and Obite is represented there as well. So if That's you cool. do have a web website with a uh, or a web store, uh, then you can simply start accepting bytes as payment by uh, by enabling this WooCommerce plugin. Uh, and that's that's a, totally that's, cool. There's a yeah. link to it in um, in the Discord channel. Thanks yeah, to I, Tammo. I copied it and put it into YouTube channel as well. That's right. really exciting. I mean, you talk about uh, a pace of things moving forward. Wow, like that's really cool. That's yeah, totally. I didn't know about that one. Talking about the pace of moving things forward, and we talked about now having in, in uh, China this very, very cool life pay initiative. That's, by the way, this is really cool. If you can really go and buy, I don't know, mobile uh, um, data um, or, I don't know, connectivity uh, via mobile phones or uh, train tickets, whatever, that's really extremely cool. I would do this in Germany tomorrow if it would be possible. Um, is there something planned for the other hemisphere of the world? Uh, not that I know of. Um, it's, it's, you see, a lot of these projects actually seem to pop up uh, by, made by community members, uh, developers contributing to, to, uh, to the platform uh, and enabling Obyte uh, in, in various different cases. And... Uh, I just heard about uh, a recent launch of uh, an Ethereum stablecoin co called Dai. Uh, they created a browser plugin uh, for, I guess, the Chrome browser. And when that plugin is uh, installed on your browser, then when you shop on Amazon, you will be allowed to pay with uh, this uh, stablecoin. They use, of, of course, also use these kind of bridge methods. Sure. Uh, they use this. Uh, something called MetaMask uh, to, mm. to make the actual conversion from the cryptocurrency into the normal fiat So sure, you need to you need to um, have a bridge now because you cannot yes, pay with Bytes yes. or with uh, Ethereum or whatever on Amazon yeah. directly. But nevertheless, that's a very cool feature, isn't it? So that's... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and if, if you look at Amazon, it's a huge marketplace. Yes. It's, it offers basically anything from cars to uh, match, mm -hmm. matches. Um, so, so you can buy basically anything there. And uh, by creating a simple plugin, uh, crypto projects can actually enable uh, people to, to, uh, to use cryptocurrencies to pay for everything that's on sale on Amazon. That would be cool. Uh, I would use it if yeah. it would be possible I, for, for buying. Yeah, me yeah, too, I, me I would, too. Yeah, I, I, there, was a, there was a couple other projects that were similar to that, that uh, there was one call, there's one on the Steam platform, uh, pay with Steam or something like that. And there was another one as well, I can't recall now, but I tried to use both. Uh, mm -hmm. That was probably nine months ago maybe, and they were very clunky. Yeah. You know, it, was, it was a lot, there, and it was limited what you could purchase and all these sorts of things. It wasn't very seamless, but I mean, I use MetaMask for some other projects, and I can mm -hmm. see where it would be uh, very. It could be very seamless. Yeah, but MetaMask I guess it's it's the same well. if you go back to the first automobiles. Uh, <laughs> they probably were a bit clunky as well. Oh yeah, they were the <laughs> hell clunky. <laughs> they clunked so, their way onwards. You know, there was a lot of clunking sounds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they worked uh, in actually, the end. Uh, I believe the the Mercedes was one of the first uh, automobiles. Uh, uh, so yeah, a German one. Uh, yeah, I believe so. I, I wouldn't say it's invented in Germany. I don't know. Ah, uh, I don't know either. 
but uh, I'm not an automobile um, historian. But you are, Bucky, no? Well, let's not go down the automobile. <laughs> road. We're not doing uh, the Grand Tour maybe show. I, maybe we can, I can pay for pay for my new used car uh, with Obi. We have yeah. to figure that out. <laughs> Well, I'm you know, sure you'd I, like, be able yeah, to find someone being able to to convert it for you. Yeah, you know, I would love to be able to like I I have a, I have a couple of of private violin students, you know, that come for for violin lessons here to my, at my house, and um and I I was thinking, you know, I'd love to be able to arrange that 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 we could arrange some way that they could pay for the lesson with some sort of crypto mechanism. I mm-hmm. uh, haven't haven't figured out how to make that work, but you know what? I, there, it will it will become it will come a time. And the first iteration may be a little clunky, but it will come. I, we need to do this. Somebody out there needs to who's listening, trying <laughs> to figure out some way that we that I can do that. I'm sure it's quite simple. But think yeah. about you, think you about could use the the WooCommerce plugin. Yeah, actually, mm-hmm. if you if you have a website, but but the thing is, it would it would simply just add friction to an already rather smooth process because your the, your students probably don't get their allowance in uh, in cryptocurrencies so they would first have to convert yeah. their uh, fiat currency yeah. into cryptocurrency just to pay you and i'm pretty sure your supermarket doesn't uh, accept uh, cryptocurrencies as well so you would have to convert it back into fiat How so well. you you basically just introduced a hell of a yeah. lot of work you well, never know yeah. you never know <laughs> that the beavers yeah, that run be. the shops in Newfoundland, they are quite, they are quite up, they are avant-garde, you know, these avant-garde beavers. <laughs> they are, so, they're very progressive, for yes. sure. Well, you know, I think sometimes things need to be done, uh, even for the academic of it, you know, just <laughs> to course. explore, you know. I, I was, uh, I was speaking to some friends at the university, some professor friends at the university, and talking about how uh, incentives could be uh, provided to students, where mm-hmm. they could be rewarded for their academic work uh mm-hmm. but with a cryptocurrency in some way i mean it will be very very low uh <clears throat> monetary value but the mm-hmm. idea would be that it's like uh it, you know it would be like a reward as you as you develop or do things you find ways of rewarding mm-hmm. uh you know there, we actually many... had uh, uh, we, we in in cooperation with the university in venezuela called the simon bolivar university we held this use i talked about it a bit earlier as mm-hmm. well uh, not on this show, but on a previous show, and and one of the use cases they come up, came up with was uh, sort of a patron program where uh, people could actually fund a student's um, tuition fee, uh, but it was dependent on whether or not the student actually completed his exams uh, and also on the grade. So mm-hmm. students performing great would receive a larger reward than students not passing or not uh, getting a, a high grade. So it would. Uh, we looked into most universities and schools. They have these uh, grade systems, uh, and if if someone were to get uh, access to simply post this data onto the Obyte DAC uh, or the database of Obyte, the distributed ledger, then you could actually quite easily create smart contracts that would uh, hold the funds for as long as the student went on a course. Yeah. And as soon as the, the semester was over, an oracle would post this data from the, the grading system into the Obyte distributed ledger and either release funds to the student or back to the donor. Um, it was quite an interesting uh, use case. It, it Unfortunately, it, it fell apart as we weren't able to to, uh, to get access to, to the grading system. To the grading system, uh, yeah, because that's each, very private. Each, Yes, each each student could could only access his or her own grades, um, so so there there were some kind of open access, but only on a, on a limited set of yeah. data. Uh, but it's totally doable. Uh, it just requires um, someone trusting uh, the data not to be uh, misused. Yeah, interesting thought. Interesting thought, actually. Mm-hmm. This is, but going back to live pay because I really think that the, the things that we talked about in this uh, in this course of, of of our talks was quite impressive. I didn't know that there was this Amazon um, mm-hmm. uh, uh, um, um, browser plugin. Browser plugin. Sorry, yeah, yeah. browser yeah. extension existing yeah. that is converting this uh, payday whatever coin uh, on mm-hmm. on Ethereum. But 
there should be some possibility to do the same thing basically for Obite as well, shouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's not like there's any magic involved. No. Uh, because... There's some conversion done on, on, uh, on an exchange, but that mm -hmm. can be uh, automated as well uh, using the exchange's APIs. So it's not that it's super difficult to do. And if you could um, get this partly seamless or as good as mm -hmm. seamless, then it would really be a, a cool shopping experience. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess, too, with, with adoption, from the point of view of adoption, uh, Amazon is ubiquitous. Amazon is everywhere. So uh, having a tool that would let Obite interface with Amazon and offer that as an opportunity to pay, boy, that would really uh, that would go a long way. I would do adoption. that. Mm -hmm. I would. I would absolutely. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> I, I like Amazon. I mean, I live in a rural community. And uh, so, you know, we for me to get some some items uh it, it it means driving an hour to the uh, to the city uh but i can get amazon and three days later it's here three days yeah. you know yeah. that's great so yeah and i think the, the one main difference between uh what what uh, our chinese community has uh, has built with life pay and this uh, ethereum based uh, amazon integration is that uh, the amazon integration requires all users to uh, to do go through a kyc check so so you you don't need to do that uh, on the obite integration uh, with live pay mm. uh, but each of the different um, uh, companies that you can purchase stuff from uh, they either require you create a user profile uh, or that you have uh, a gas in an existing gas card uh, uh, you can use to uh, to to top up basically yeah. so so yeah that's uh it's a super interesting uh, use case really and i'm quite impressed uh and and excited to, to see where it yeah where very it... totally cool we should we should yeah. definitely follow this up in either two or four weeks uh yeah. and, and see how things um have evolved from from here uh, by yeah, the way, if, if more companies are joining as well, that's interesting yeah, as well totally. to, to follow. By the way, dear listeners and viewers, uh, if you want to recap, revisit, rehearse, whatever you want to do, re, if you want to hear us again talking about this, uh, all these shows are online on YouTube. Uh, so if you want to listen in to the shows number one, two or three that we already did, and I can tell you there was some amazing, interesting stuff uh, that we talked about. Um, for instance, the Bosch hackathon uh, uh, in, in Stuttgart that uh, we talked about in the last episode. Mm -hmm. um, then you can see that on YouTube because um, that's our archive that we are currently using for your convenience and for ours as well. Go check it out. Um, now, quick news. Um, there's a new wallet version. Da -dum, yeah. da -dum, da -dum. Thanks a yeah. lot. Da -dum, da -dum doesn't um, happen all that often but uh, when it does it's uh, it's really nice Ad adding new features fixing a few bugs uh, and basically just introducing more nice features um, this current release isn't all that big it's uh, basically just adding uh, the the possibility to see the amount you're about to to make a transaction of uh, to see the US dollar equ equivalent uh, of that amount this uh, might not be function wise a big thing, but no. since <coughs> um, Obyte and other cryptocurrencies are quite cryptic in exactly. how many, uh, you know, how many uh, 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 points are, uh, or how many zeros are in front of the point and, and after the point and what it's worth then, this mm -hmm. is quite cryptic. So yeah. uh, having the um, at least a rough figure in US dollars standing be beside it or below it in for for you know for a second thought <gasps> yeah really? it can definitely prevent a lot of mistakes yeah uh, because it's not you know this gigabyte or byte thing uh, that's not it's not in 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 all our brains we're not doing this for 20 years now mm -hmm. so exactly. um it's you you need to get used to it and one bitcoin is worth a lot of money while one uh gigabyte is worth less so you, mm -hmm. you know it, you, it's complicated so this might not be a cool a, a, a huge function add-on but it's a super convenience add-on. yeah yeah 
Um, a, a bit more uh, interesting addition is that the witnesses are now shown. Uh, previously, you only had the witnesses' uh, wallet addresses, and you had no clue uh, who those witnesses were. Now, uh, each of the witnesses is uh, accompanied by uh, a link uh, that you, uh, a real name shown and a link to where you can read more about who owns that exact witness so so that's uh, in in a process where we're going to decentralize witnesses this is a quite important step um, and enabling the obite users to to pick their witnesses uh, on an informed uh, basis rather than just uh, uh, guessing uh, a 32 character wallet address um, that, that's quite an important uh, addition as well. And finally, there's, uh, there's a new uh, language added. Uh, the, the wallet is translated into, I think, 25 different languages. Not all are 100% uh, complete yet, but it's, uh, it's translated into at least 25 different languages. And we just added uh, Arabic uh, language as well. It's cool. Uh, quite mm -hmm. interesting because it's uh, written uh, right to left. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's quite different to yeah the other and languages. I, <laughs> yeah, and I guess it, it probably causes some glitches in the in the UI. Um, but let's see. Um, it's always interesting to uh, and and it definitely opens up uh, the wallet to uh, a new audience as well. Yeah, definitely because uh, well most of so English is a lingua franca nowadays. It's it served as a as a connecting language. Let's put it like this. Mm -hmm. uh, but nevertheless, having the possibility to do this in your own mother tongue is opening it much broader to much broader audience. Exactly. And uh, if people are or users or listeners here are uh, interested in joining us for the uh, translation project, then there's welcome to do so i just posted the link on discord uh to the project so you're using uh, crowding a quite fairly yeah, known yeah. uh platform for having multi-language uh, exactly it's a super super easy to use yeah. interface uh, to do these translations <clears throat> so it's not like you have to be a coder or anything you just present it with a string uh, in english and then you have to translate it into your own native language Very so cool. so most will be able to to participate in this yeah totally cool uh polo polo we're going to the next yeah. news item uh that's mm -hmm. uh, that's your 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 baby so that's my baby that's <laughs> that's true um what is polo polo passed. about Go, give it one uh, more sentence you know what i mean it's uh it's basically a, a charity platform where you don't have to trust any charity organizations or middlemen uh, you simply just uh, donate money directly to the shop or merchant providing a product that an applicant uh, requires so if uh, if you jan required uh, a piece of uh, meat uh, because you were starving then um, you could uh, go to uh, <laughs> to bucky and apply for that piece of meat because bucky was a meat producer and i could then make a donation to bucky uh, to pay for that piece of meat. And once my donation was made, my donation gets locked between uh, me and Bucky. And if you, at some point in time, go and pick up that piece of meat because you're hungry, then the funds will be released from the smart contract to Bucky. But if you don't, the funds will be uh, available to me again. Okay. So there's no middlemen. Uh, and in case... Uh, and there's absolute security that either you are uh, either the good deed is performed so i get my meat exactly and uh, <laughs> uh, or whatever and then bucky <laughs> gets paid for it or exactly. i don't collect it and then you um, got your money back more yeah, exactly of course uh, and a lot of people always point to this what if you and bucky know each other just a bit too well um, well, yes, that's definitely the case. Uh, but but at least I, as a donor, get to choose whether I trust you or I trust Bucky. So sure. so the need for trust is basically uh, put in the hands of the uh, parties involved. Whereas uh, with normal charities, you just uh, put your money in some collector's box, and then you have no clue what happens to it. Okay, uh, this sounds. 
let's yeah. let's go from the rather academic view on me and Maki to rather <laughs> to the rather down to earth view. What exactly are you supporting with it? Because you're not supporting me and Maki. Yeah, exactly. Right now, we currently have a, a payment uh, provider in Venezuela uh, providing fiat to bytes conversion. Oh, okay. So, uh, so it's easy for the the shops and merchants to to actually get uh, the local currency called Bolivar, um, and they are uh, basically converting bytes easily into their own uh, native mm -hmm. currency. Um, so, so right now we are uh, we are still in the very early days of the platform, um, but uh, we are uh, live uh, and have uh, several shops in Venezuela uh, participating in the platforms, and there's already some uh, uh, new applications. Uh, we also had, uh, I think, there's about 120 applications or donations that has been carried out through the Polo Polo platform. Uh, already very cool uh, i can just uh, it's it basically the, the name of the project is polio polio meaning chicken chicken uh, <laughs> in spanish uh, and it started out with a, a chicken producer so uh, people could apply for chickens uh, egg laying hens uh, and uh, various uh, chicken food and and uh, stuff that you need when you keep chickens and uh, this picture i just posted on discord i'm not sure it's possible to see it anywhere else uh this is actually one of the uh, recipients um it's a, an old lady uh and she uses the eggs the eggs from uh, the chickens partly to uh, to sell uh, to to provide for for herself and her family and uh, also as a means of getting more calories uh, basically to eat so we can <laughs> say truly that mm -hmm. uh poyo poyo or polo polo how it is written uh mm -hmm. but it's pronounced poyo poyo um is really changing well it's not changing the world but it's changing a bit of it so a small it's portion it's definitely changing you know? uh, a, a couple of people's lives um it's it's not that we are changing the world but no we're but you need to start somewhere casper you exactly you exactly know. Mm -hmm. You cannot the, start the, changing the whole world at one time. You see, need no. to start somewhere. <laughs> and uh, that's I, totally cool. So I love this project. Um, and uh, so basically it's about helping Venezuelans in their dire and tempting times that they're currently living through. And mm -hmm. they're living through since quite a while. So yeah. um, if you want to help or donate or whatever, uh, I think that Casper has already... Um, provided uh, the link to uh, poyopoyo.org it's it's quite easy um, and if you want to help Casper in doing something for sure he's got an open ear because uh, as he's already said it he, it's his you know it's it's coming from the heart so this is his baby yeah, and uh, <laughs> if you want to help he's for sure happy to receive ideas and and codes and whatever exactly the the project is fully open source so anyone can check out the source code of uh, both the platform and the, the the headless wallet or the chatbot uh, involved in, in making this possible really? so mm -hmm. everyone can contribute if they want one one th one step back uh, p miklas yep. just said in in the radio chat uh, on discord that we should talk about this uh, china initiative that we that nobody is having uh, we did mm -hmm. in the first half hour of the show actually mm -hmm. um yeah. so uh, there's no there is no re there's no possibility to rewind this but you can it listen to it a recap yeah. going through the, the first 20 minutes again <laughs> uh, that would be quite hard to yeah. do and uh, it would feel well, like you know the matrix when this black cat is coming again you know it's yeah. there is a glitch in the matrix so yeah, um maybe. but you can use the youtube matrix just like we pointed yeah. out uh, um, before and just you know wait until the show's over listen to us and, and be part of the show until uh, as long as it's running and then uh, come on and go back in time do a time, time warp time travel back and then listen to the first 20 minutes of the show thank yeah. you sorry for not being able to recap it completely um, there is a world community create challenge running right now it's a Thor challenge we already have talked about 14 days ago 
in the last show. So how is it running, Casper? How, how is Obyte it's, community doing? It's going great. Really, really great. Um, it's, it's actually a perfect contest for this radio show because it, it runs for a week and then it pauses and the, the next round goes on the week after. So actually this radio show is always uh, in a week where, the, where the, well, one of the rounds uh, are running. So that's quite, uh, quite good. And right now we are in round two. Uh, Obite won the first round quite uh, comfortably. And we are now in round two, where the the number of contestants are down to 20 or 25, I think. And um, we're leading that quite comfortably as well. Um, so as, as things look right now, we have about, uh, I think it's 134 years of computation uh, right. contributed in, in just three days. One recap. Um, this is counted as years of computational time donated. It's a bit complicated exactly. to get your head around it, uh, but obviously we have donated in th or Team Obite has donated in three days running time 134 years of uh, of computing time, um, mm -hmm. and this is going to the World Community Grid. Um, if you don't know that, it's uh, an IBM run. Uh, charity is this a charity no it's sponsored. not a charity it's uh, a sponsored by ibm but it's an uh, uh, um uh, i think like it's a science uh, project yeah, yeah it is it is there, it has um, five different projects it's uh, one is against uh, childhood cancer one is mm -hmm. uh, or it's it's um um uh, shedding more light into childhood cancer and to be able to to in the end fight it and uh, mm -hmm. open seeker and uh, there is a, a lot of a very 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 uh, important um, scientific research done in that kind of project and I'm totally happy Bucky and me joined after last show uh, yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. joined both um, I have uh, two computers running to my side and I even have um, uh, I, I tried to but uh, uh, I having I'm having some stacks of Raspberry Pis but you know what uh, I tried to get them to run yesterday um, I, I have another stack over there so it's it's three Pis <laughs> join together um but you know what they are not allowing well every project in this community is a bit different uh, and yeah. you cannot oh. calculate with the rrm architecture that's in exactly. the raspberry pis oh. sadly not so i cannot get them to work but i will look around the house and find some more machines <laughs> to get things running yeah. at even, even your smartphone will actually be able to, to that's uh, true but uh, dear listeners and viewers, don't do this at home. Um, <laughs> I try. You can set it to only to only crunch <laughs> while it's uh, charging. I tried be and be very careful with it because it um, those smartphones and tablets and things like that they are not built for this heavy computational work, <laughs> and they are tending to get extremely hot, which is exactly. as you can think of not always a very healthy thing so be careful mm -hmm. in in uh, when you really try to do that on your mobile phone uh, you should do it on a separate one you don't need you know so like um, your replacement phone something like that because uh, if you kill your 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 uh, real phone then things might get ugly just an advice yeah, yeah. this can be taken as an advice because i'm, yes, I'm a computer scientist i studied and i can do advices um so uh, it's too bad it doesn't. It's too bad it doesn't work on Raspberry Pi, so because I have a bunch here as well. Wow, that's too bad. Yeah, but it's too bad. Currently, the the things are looking really great, uh, and we'll most likely be entering the the third and final round, uh, mm -hmm. and that's where the things get get more exciting. Um, Go all by it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Team all by. We won. We won Team last year, and we definitely want to win again this year. So Perfect. and it's all uh, in in uh, going to something good. So it's definitely yeah, definitely. Important. So and by the way, Obite is supporting this by rewarding. So um, if you do oh, join yeah. Team Obite, uh, you get rewarded. It's not it's not riches, guys. Really not, mm -hmm. and ladies as well not. So uh, if you join and bring your computer into Team Obite, uh, you get rewarded. I think a dollar per one hundred thousand points you are generating. Yes, something like that. so it's something like that, yeah it's not riches guys uh but you know you're doing something good yes. very good 
yeah, you are exactly. um, increasing your own knowledge because it, joining this is not all too easy it's it's not too complicated as well but it's knowledge building doing so and uh, you get rewarded a bit so what if more you compare can you to the to the massive amount of uh, computational power going into uh, blockchains uh, proof of work mechanisms uh, that's basically just uh, of course it's not exactly wasted but no. it's definitely not uh, it's it's only it's uh, not put to good use for one thing. it's exactly. not put to good use so if you're yeah, using well, your computation and uh, well it's well it depends on what good use is yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> um, this is really this world community grid you can check it out it's it's openly documented they are supporting health and totally important scientific research that will really help change the world for a better one so exactly. um <laughs> that's totally important um Autonomous yeah. agent developers contest. <laughs> I, I, we're you now going away from the world community grid. Um, there was something totally cool happening. Casper, do you want to tell? Yeah, Bucky and I just posted the same link yes. at the exact same time. Um, exactly, that was funny. <laughs> when you were a millisecond in front of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but if we should move on, <laughs> um, of course, to the autonomous agents developer contest. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, currently the, the fifth round uh, and there's been some quite amazing entries uh, and some really interesting ones in this in this round as well. Uh, but I want to talk at just 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 a little bit about one of the entries that uh, was made just after the deadline for the last uh, fourth round, uh, the birthday fiddle. Um, it was actually inspired by this radio show when uh, yeah. Bucky played the fiddle to, to celebrate your birthday. And um, <laughs> the, the, the community member, uh, as far as I recall, also from our Chinese community called Who is Terence Lee, uh, he created an autonomous agent uh, called the Birthday Fiddle Autonomous yeah. Agent. <laughs> and it, it basically allows people to, uh, to add small uh, tips or gifts and when uh, people then register which date their birth date is, then they will be uh, able to withdraw whatever gifts uh, others has paid uh, on their birth date. So that's quite a quite a fun little. Uh, uh, that's cool. That's totally there. amazing. Yeah. Uh, if you want to rehearse, uh, revisit what Bucky Turtle played, uh, you can uh, go to the episode three. It's uh, I think in the start somewhere in episode three. He, uh, Bucky played the fiddle for me and for my birthday because that was 14 days ago, um, which was great. So uh, that we are inspiring, or that Bucky is inspiring um, an autonomous agent developer uh, to do that is just amazing. And the idea behind it as well, because um, I think that's a cool idea. So to, to have the possibility to, to donate something and as a birthday present for someone, uh, I think the I like it. I really like it. Mm -hmm. And and they just posted uh, a link, not for uh, a karate lesson, but for uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, providing some background on the autonomous agent uh, that that who is currently created for this uh, for, for for this contest. It's quite a nice uh, animated gift, really. Very cool. So um, it's ending today. Now is it? the the round uh, four no, uh, yeah today is uh, the the deadline for round five um and we still have round six and seven uh, to mm -hmm. go so uh, actually we initially only planned for six rounds but since the the third round was uh, cancelled and uh, the, the the few entries uh, of that round was moved then um, then we decided to simply uh, extend the, the developer contest and add uh, a seventh round as well so we'll be going um for for two more rounds and uh it's it's really interesting and it's it's quite obvious that uh, the developers are getting better and better uh, and the use cases they provide are uh better and better so it's it's really interesting that's so totally uh, cool yeah who is terence lee is actually in the discord channel and <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> And he, I think he's going to be giving lessons, kung fu lessons for developers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very cool. So uh, I really like this contest, um, <laughs> and the the idea behind it that you you know you're progressing, you're starting small, and then uh, you're progressing also in your use cases, uh, and yeah. in the complexity that you are uh, developing your your agents in, and 
uh, that, that's exactly what you want to have. And that's what the crypto world is currently so good at. It's progressing. Mm -hmm. It's progressing and it's fast progressing. And if I can just mention uh, another uh, another of the, the developers uh, called Hey Monkey, he's actually quite good at creating these um, building blocks that that makes a lot of things easier for others. Um, so he's created quite a few uh, interesting uh, entries for the for the contest. <clears throat> His last entry, uh, which actually I believe one uh, was uh, addressing the problem of doing something at a specific point in time or with a delay because uh, it, it's it's actually not possible to to do something with a delay because the program doesn't run per se it's triggered in and then it executes and then it finishes so so you cannot have this delayed mechanism but he actually created a use case where uh, people could incentivize others to trigger uh, an autonomous agent at a specific time and the user triggering the the autonomous agent at that time would then be rewarded uh to do cool. so 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 it's um he, he's quite uh, quite good at creating these small building blocks and that are totally important yeah, totally yeah, important yeah. those building blocks are totally important they are the start of it all <clears throat> absolutely absolutely that's cool so um we might hear or we will hear for sure more of the autonomous agents developer contest uh in the next show that is going to end 14 days in two weeks from now um Absolutely. but let's move on because time is running time is fleeting yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, we got some some more news items to talk about the discord mm -hmm. attestation bot mm -hmm. yes it's uh i think most uh, people used to to different crypto projects probably know these tipping bots yeah. allowing one sure. user to, to send small tips to to each other um, uh, and we actually just got one of uh, those for uh, our obi discord channel um, or server uh, and it's it's uh, made by one of the really uh, active developers um, of the community and uh, of I'm not good at pronouncing his name, Genie what, or something like that. Um, I'll just write the name, <laughs> and then people can figure it out. Genie, Genie what? Genie It could be French. Is it French? Genie No, no. He's uh, as far as I recall, he's from India. Oh uh, well, then I don't know what it is. How it is pronounced? Jivan Jot uh, okay. or something. Um, it doesn't matter. He's really active and, and providing a lot of um, of great support for, for the Obite project, adding to the ecosystem all the time uh, and quite active on the Discord as well. Um, I guess the time right now makes uh, him not able to <laughs> to, uh, mm -hmm. to listen to the show and be here with us. Uh, but he actually created this Discord at the station bot that allows users to, uh, to link their wallet with their Discord username and uh, people can then tip uh, users, other users, by simply <clears throat> using these commands. Uh, I posted the link in the in the on the Discord channel, um, so so people can experiment with it. Uh, yeah, that's cool. And that's small tips to each other. That's a basic functionality that that almost every cryptocurrency at some point brings. Uh, yeah, there have yeah. been IRC bots in the day when yeah, you, yeah. where you have had the opportunity to do the same thing. So uh, I I really love them because uh, yeah I would actually I would like a, a Telegram tip bot as well hmm. I know there's uh, diff different templates out there which should make it True, somewhat yeah. easy but it still requires some some implementation with the Obyte uh, headless yeah. wallet so yeah true um, that would be a good idea as well yeah hmm? Telegram is fairly used so it, it's a fairly known tool. So having Definitely. a possibility there, it would be really as as well making a, 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 a adding value. Definitely, definitely. Very Moving cool. on. Yes, uh, move on. Been, uh, uh, because of these autonomous agents, it's it's an addition to the uh, Obite ecosystem that's uh, being added uh, and and was added just recently. And therefore, it, it only exists on the testnet. And that's why we see a lot of development going on on the testnet and a lot of new features being introduced. Um, the OScript language, uh, which is used to write these autonomous agents, 
um, is being developed and being improved on all the time. So more and more features are becoming available to the developers. And that, of course, also plays into the, the entries for the developer contest becoming more and more interesting because as the toolbox grows bigger and bigger, the, the things they create, of course, gets more and more impressive as well. So there's a lot of improvements uh, and, and new developers development going on there as well. If I would now hear this for the first time or listen to this for the first time, wh what would be the anchor point? What would be the, the point I need to go to to find all about? It's you know? definitely our developer site. Um, I can just post a link to that. Yeah, perfect. Uh, it's, it's, oh, I just need. So I'm reading it out. It's a developer.obyte.org. <laughs> That's not too complicated. And yeah. that's actually uh, a huge collection of uh, all sorts of developer uh, relevant info. There's an easy how to get started, a quick starting guide. Uh, but there's, uh, if you click the menu at the top left, there's a lot of information, including for autonomous agents. I can just post the direct link for that as well. Um, and Perfect. there's uh, getting started guides, there's introductions to the autonomous agents, um, and then there's a lot of documentation on the OScript language. Um, it's actually, it's, it's, it's a, a scripting language created specifically for these uh, autonomous agents. So um, it's, it's, if, if you haven't coded, uh, made, written any code before, then it's you are basically on the same page as everyone else because it's a, an entirely new scripting language. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool. So, yeah. You can start with everyone else learning it. <laughs> Absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. So thanks a lot. And so this can... is, dear developers, if you want to do something, then uh, go to developer.obyte.org and uh, find all information because, you know, for us developers, it's, it's totally important where to find documents and how to's and you know we do we do eat this stuff we do really consume yeah. it <laughs> so um this is the way to go and then you are ready to join because there is still two rounds at least i think it's two rounds you said running yeah. for the um contest and it might be a bit uh, short on time to to uh, agreed to but this if you are but, <laughs> but if you're a genius, you know, you just need to get into digesting yeah, the old white scripting language and then you're done with it. Yeah, round one was actually 14 days after the announcement. Uh, so so and we saw, uh, I think, five entries uh, after those 14 days. So that was actually quite impressive. Uh, so it's, it's definitely never too late. doable. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Perfect. So, and as a last news item, we are almost, we are closing the show almost on time, guys. Two yeah, minutes, yeah, yeah. two minutes left yeah. for the hour. And we and have one topic left, dear, dear yeah. listeners and viewers. And this is the Obite rank on coin code cap. Uh, exactly. This, does coin code cap remind me of coin market cap? And is this is this uh, a reminder that it's meant to be or is this pure coincidence that it sounds it's, almost the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely meant to be, I'm sure. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's a different uh, ranking system. Instead of ranking a project based on their price uh, or the latest traded price uh, times their current circulating supply, uh, they then look at uh, how is code actually developing for the different projects. And, and to some, that might be more relevant. Uh, to others, it isn't. Um, but it, it's at least a different point of view on how to rank uh, the different crypto projects. Um, I think they just recently released a report where it showed that in the, in the top 200 only about uh, 50 or 60 project was actively being developed upon. Uh, I can't really remember the metrics uh, or the, the exact numbers, but it's, it's actually quite a lot of the projects in the, in the top 100 that isn't being maintained anymore. That is a so, cool metric. Yeah, I never yeah. heard of that before, actually. So uh, um, we have t chatted about the show uh, prior to the show because, uh, you know, we should do that. Uh, else it will get very chaotic if we're not. And Casper uh, mm -hmm. um, came around the corner with this coin called Cap. And I, 
and I was dumbfounded because I never saw it before and I never heard about it before. But it totally makes sense because yeah. it puts some kind of activity um, into all of this, and th which yeah. is very, very important. And and it actually shows that Obite is one of the more uh, active projects. We're currently ranked. Uh, if you look at the last uh, week, uh, we are the forty seventh uh, yeah. most uh, most active project, and and overall uh, through all our uh, our time, it's it's ranked uh, sixty three. Uh, so it's actually That's quite good. The, re the reason I discovered this uh, this this. Uh, ranking system was actually because it uh, they they still had us listed as uh, biteball uh, and that's roughly a year ago we we rebranded uh, from <laughs> biteball to obite so i wrote to them and said hey it's really interesting uh, ranking you have uh, and and they just they don't just look at the number of commits they also check for number of contributors number of stars and then they create some kind of rank uh, based on that um, so, so that's how I came across it, uh, and it's um, and, totally and then I started cool. I, into, they, since they we also do, yeah, go uh, on. Sorry, uh, they, they also do uh, write articles, but from a developer point of view, um, focusing mainly on the technology and on the development communities surrounding all these cryptocurrencies. So it's it's really an interesting uh, website. I I just like you, I wasn't. Uh, knowledgeable about it until just uh, this week so it's it's so yeah. interesting and it shows that obite is actually doing quite good i love it i love the idea behind this website because this is a metric that you don't you shouldn't base every decision on that but it's a, a metric you can take into account yes 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 you know. it adds to the complete picture exactly mm -hmm. and yes. uh i like the idea and i like the way it's done and i totally will give this a few later on because uh, i didn't have mm -hmm. the time prior to the show because you know it came only <laughs> <laughs> so um uh thanks casper for 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 showing this um like i said it's not the only metric that is uh valuable but this is also adding valuable information to make the picture uh complete or more complete as complete as you can maybe be exactly yeah, I, I, I was skimming down through some of these and, and surprising some of the ones that I thought were fairly active are not. Yeah. You know? Well, that's, well, you well, know. It, you, you might say that, that once a project uh, reaches its, uh, its, its promises and, and is complete, so to speak, then, then some projects might say, okay, there's no reason to, uh, to keep developing on something that's already mm -hmm. perfect. Sure. Uh, yeah, just, but we're uh, in crypto. We're talking about <laughs> cryptocurrencies, so exactly. Uh, exactly. And it's uh, it should be. Uh, it, it's rare that <laughs> that something gets done with software ever. That's the so point. It's, yeah, um, you're never finished in the end. So there's always something to do um, to make it better, to make it a more seamless experience, to whatever. Yes. You know what I mean? Exactly. Um, so I will give this a go uh, later on because I'm totally curious on, on uh, and Bucky hinted now at some uh, revelations mm -hmm. that there might be uh, in that website. Um, thanks a lot, Casper and, and Bucky. This was again a great show that we have had tonight. Um, thanks a lot to all the community that have been watching on YouTube uh, mainly. Um, there is also the possibility to join us um listening only on discord but uh since we are giving ourselves um, a lot of trouble to come to you live on air with three video streams and everything on youtube <laughs> youtube might be the better experience because on discord you are only able to hear us um and uh, well, well w which might or might not be a good thing that's a taste topic now and we're not touching yeah, taste because <laughs> we're not, we're not, that's another disclaimer yes yeah. there is another disclaimer we have, because we're not yeah. we're not the taste guys so uh, we have uh, we have quite a few people on youtube watching tonight so it's uh now it's good to see people on youtube watching yes right. totally we're totally happy to do that um mm -hmm. this was episode four of uh, the obite community show yeah exactly episode four um and episode five will come to you live uh in 14 days i will take a look to the calendar which is uh, the 10th of october um it's uh, always problematic when it's across uh, a month change right 
Uh, yes. <laughs> Adding 14. Uh, yeah, I came. Uh, yeah, I took up the calendar and it's only showing the next week. So I showed, oh, yeah, it's the third and then adding seven. Oh, yeah, it not needs to be. The <laughs> yeah, so it was a bit complicated. Um, but it will right. be the 10th and it will be uh, at, um, I think it's 8 p.m. UTC. Please correct me if I'm wrong. No, you're correct. 8 p.m. UTC. Time zoning can be a bit of a bastard. So uh, we are sad for all the people that cannot listen to us live because they are living on the other side of the world. And the, when it's uh, th that's really a pity. We would like to do this show once around the clock so that everybody can listen. Uh, but we're not able to. So um, 8 p.m. UTC it is on the 10th of October, 10th of October. Uh, where the next show exactly. is going to air. Thanks a lot, Casper. Thanks a lot, Bucky. It has been a pleasure having you. Thank and you. thanks a lot to the great Obike community for bringing us these great uh, updates, wallet updates, live pay, live pay. Give live pay a, a look and Polo Polo. Give Polo Polo a, a decent look because th that's the baby of Casper and uh, we would <laughs> like to support yeah. it as well. Thank you yeah. and uh, have all a good you. night. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. And I'm bringing to you live now the outro song, also done by Casper. Oh, by Community Radio.